Yeah. But that's only the fourth of our cruises. We've still got two more lined up for you. So if you think, oh, which one do I go for? Which one do I go for? Don't forget, we've seen a lot already, but there are two amazing cruises. In fact, this next one is a brand new itinerary. So if you are a regular cruiser, if you have been out and about frequently, then this certainly might appeal to you. And it's a great line of celebrity. Launched in 2010 by around the world English yachtswoman Emma Ponting, the multi award winning Celebrity Eclipse is one of the most beautiful and well designed ships I've ever had the pleasure of sailing on. She offers cruisers the very latest in comfort and innovation in a sophisticated and stylish manner. Each one of Eclipse's 12 bars has its own unique feel. You can enjoy the romance of a sail away from the grassy knolls of a sunset bar off on the lawn club, or try a new wine or two at Cellar Masters. Cocktail lovers will adore the oodles of choice at the very special mixology bar, but if you really want my advice, then you must join the fun here at the Martini Ice Bar. Amazing cocktails, tasty caviar and juggling bartenders. There are ten amazing restaurants to choose from, so as you cruise around the world, so do your taste buds. You can dive into a delicious plate of true rustic Italian cuisine at the Tuscan Grill, devour a plate of filet mignon in the French-themed and Michelin-star quality Moranos. But for something that sums up celebrity in a nutshell, you simply must try cuisine. Cool, contemporary and slightly offbeat, the menu presented on an iPad includes sushi lollipops, lobster escargot, popcorn fish and chips and disco shrimp. Eating has simply never been so much fun. A celebrity cruise offers you the chance to stimulate your mind while having fun and even take home a new skill. Daily enrichment opportunities abound with hands-on art classes, Rosetta Stone language courses, engaging public speakers and even the chance to polish your jive or learn Zumba. But best of all is this place, the Lawn Club. Real grass, expansive views, live concerts, lawn bowls, croquet and of course the excellent hot glass show. The plush main theatre on board a Celebrity Eclipse offers cutting-edge shows to rival the West End, Vegas and Broadway with musical theatre tribute shows and song and dance spectaculars. Why not enjoy some wine and cheese while staring at the stars during an alfresco concert on the lawn? Or take in one of the award-winning European circus shows full of magic and mystery. All of Celebrity Eclipse's staterooms offer true modern luxury. The design is smart and fresh and contemporary, and they all offer a great range of sumptuous amenities such as fluffy bathrobes, deluxe toiletries, Egyptian cotton bed linen, and complimentary 24-hour room service. From comfortable inside staterooms through to these gorgeous suites, which feature floor-to-ceiling windows, panoramic balconies, and your own private butler. Yeah, if wow. you like the nicer things in life, this is the line for you. I know. Now, I've maybe. never seen sushi lollipops before. <laughs> I, that's quite different, isn't it? Personally, I wouldn't want to see one. <laughs> I'm not a sushi fan. I'm really, I'm not a sushi no, fan. No, but you but see, the amazing. thing is with 10 restaurants, it doesn't matter, does it? That's absolutely. the thing. There's something for absolutely everybody on board that ship. <laughs> but what's most exciting about this one is the fact that they've got a brand new itinerary. Yes. Iceland. Yes, absolutely. Yes, because celebrity, who, you know, people are such fans of this cruise line. But you're right, it's not oft often that they do this kind of itinerary so should we have a look at it yeah it's starting from southampton so again as you said earlier yeah you don't have to worry about the amount of luggage you take oh i know which is so good because then i can take about 28 pairs of shoes <laughs> which is great so yes this is quite a uk <laughs> themed itinerary so it is unusual for celebrities start in southampton and then on day two we are sailing into st peter's port and the nice thing about it is we are talking about 2016 so you could really look forward to this for a long time yeah. get your nice deposit down and have something to look forward to. It's only 150 quid, it's great. So St. Peter's Port, we talked about earlier on in Guernsey, really charming, really beautiful. And then on day three, you're going to sail into Cork, um, right. in, of course, in yes, Ireland. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And the passengers, you'll disembark directly onto the quayside alongside the Cobb Heritage Centre. So straight away, there's something to go and have a look at. Um, so. Basically, the whole town of Cobb is really beautiful, renowned for its maritime past, and um, actually, it was the last port of call for the for the Titanic. Quite oh. interesting. Oh. I know, amazing, quite historic. Um, and now you've got the wildlife park here. You've got a beautiful golf club. You've got a gorgeous countryside. Of course, Ireland so famous for being green and lush, yeah. and of course, you've got the Blarney Castle. 
And I think you have to go and have a pint of Guinness, don't you? Absolutely. I think you probably do have Absolutely. to do that. I think that's traditional. Um, but yes, lots of depending on what you want to do, you've got historic sites, but you've also got modern department stores. You've got beautiful pedestrianised streets. It's all there to do and see. And then you've got two days at sea, which actually you'll be delighted about because you saw the ship, one of the most beautiful ships I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, so you really can enjoy that. And then on day six, you are sailing to, into Iceland, into Akureyra. I had to look up the pronunciation of that earlier, <laughs> but I promise that's how you say it. I haven't it. been, so I couldn't have you out. Akureyra. <laughs> I think wow. even if I had, I couldn't remember like how to pronounce it. But this is a very small port where you can walk directly from the ship into the town. Yeah. So no shuttle buses or anything like like that required and again you're absolutely just well away Gorgeous. from all the hurly-burly of life so you could go up to the botanic gardens and have a walk around you've got lots of beautiful scenery to look at and some nature baths here as well Iceland quite famous for that where you go and have like a thermal bath outside so almost like being in a hot tub you know you're really warm and it's all beautifully cold outside quite a good experience and very healthy as well you've got the whale center here as well you could go and visit and then on day seven you're going to sail into Isafjordia, also in Iceland very famous for its walking tours and on that note please when you call up on the free phone number as well please do ask our agents about any excursions oh yeah because we can organize some fabulous excursions and really really well priced as well day eight you're going to sail into Reykjavik and you're going to have an overnight on board which is so lovely because you can explore Europe's northernmost and westernmost capital, which is part Old Norse of Old Viking, part modern. Um, you'll see as well, they eat some funny things here. <laughs> Puffin. Yeah, right. yeah a, oh. a bit of um, yeah, reindeer. So that might not be to oh. your taste. Don't worry, you can eat on the ship. Fill yeah. your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and then go and explore. Uh, but it is, of course, the capital city of Iceland as well. And just a lot to do and see. So we get to stay overnight yeah, here, so but we can go ship, back to the ship anytime we whenever like. Whenever you like. So right. you can get off and on. You can go back and have wow, dinner on brilliant. the ship. You know, completely up to you. And you've got the Blue Lagoon, the National Park. Lots to see and do here. Day 10, you're back at sea. And then day 11, you are sailing into Belfast, which is beautiful. That's Giant's Causeway, which is well worth a visit. You must go and see that if you get the chance. That's City Hall as well. Um, but you know, Belfast, very exciting part of Northern Ireland. A lot to do and see. Again, famous for its gardens, famous for its pubs. You could go and visit London Derry. Carrickfergus Castle is beautiful as well. And then day 12, you've got another day at sea. And day 13, you're sailing back into Southampton. So this is a really nice cruise to explore a few places, a bit closer to home, get to do Iceland and an overnight there as well, and experience this stunning ship. I mean, celebrity, people who go on celebrity just rave about yeah, it. My, my sister's favorite line, she loves Yeah, it. I'm not surprised. You know, very modern, very contemporary, very, very high standards of service and of food. Um, you're going to feel like, you know, like a celebrity, funnily enough. Um, on board this ship, you really, really will. You will have some of the best meals of your life, I'm convinced of it. Beautiful. Now, great thing about this is Planet Cruise love to bring you special deals. Yes. So you've got the opportunity to enjoy free drinks or free tips or free spend. And if you go for it, you can see it's right there for you. So the free classic drinks, free tips or free spend. That's if you go for an ocean view or above. But if you book the concierge stateroom, you'll get all three of those. So can you imagine you book your cruise and you haven't got to worry about the drinks, you haven't got to worry about spending money, you haven't even got to worry about the tips at the end of it. It's all taken care of for you. Brand new itinerary. This is a maiden itinerary. First time that Celebrity Cruises have taken you up to Iceland to enjoy it. You've got that one night if you want at the Mayon Hotel in Marriott in Southampton. £79. And, come on, it's brilliant. That just gives you a chance to get there the day before and chill out so you can really feel like a well, also, VIP. Parking alone can cost you that while you're away. You're getting a night in a hotel, very nice comfortable hotel and your breakfast the next day. All and including parking. that price. And knowing that your car is safe and secure and you just don't have to think about it until you come back. So that's really worth doing. Well, let's talk about those drinks package. If you're looking again, what is the classic drinks package? You can see it all here. It obviously includes all your teas, your coffees, sodas, you know, it's fizzy drinks, assorted juices, waters, non-alcoholic cocktails, sometimes called mocktails and smoothies. But it is also beers, spirits, wines, cocktails, and of course there's a wide selection of alcoholic beverages too. And then you've got 15% discount on all the wines by the bottle that you purchase on board. It's a brilliant opportunity to enjoy that. Uh, just a quick reminder too, I'm being told that the uh, trip 
that was two nights in New York, two nights in Miami, and then of course your seven days around the Caribbean is really, really popular. If you'd like to get your hands on that, please do so. Don't miss out on it. We also had the Princess Cruise to the Fjords. Only a £50 deposit on there if you wanted to get your hands on that as well. Of course, we had that brand new maiden season with P&O as well. And then there was the Thompson Cruises trip, which is, what, 14 nights for just over £600. 